Hello, this is Jim Lyon, roaring your way from Los Angeles. So, yippee ki -yay. Good friend of mine just won the Oscar this past weekend, so I'm happy for him. He made a movie called The Green Book. I'm lifting a toast to him today. Anyway, I'm not here for that. I wanted to share with you two little secrets that I've not yet seen in any of the other videos that have been put out on YouTube about Kingdom Come Deliverance. Two things. One is how to get a lot of money early in the game without really putting yourself at risk. All you really need is a bow and arrow. And you need to do this. You need to find a spot where there are wild boar. You need to go there and shoot a wild boar, poach a wild boar. This is harder to do earlier in the game because you don't have the strength, you don't have a good bow, you don't have a good arrow, and you don't even have proper uh, bow and hunting skills. So all these things make it so you may have to hit that boar with five or six arrows before it falls. This is a pain in the butt. But once you do it, you collect all the meat, you walk to the nearest fire, you cook all the meat, put it on your horse if you have to, or get to the nearest city, and then you sell the cooked meat. People will buy it from you, and every boar is probably worth anywhere from 800 to 1,500 groschen. So that's quite a bit of money you can collect early on for very little effort. That's Tip number one. Tip number two is something that uh, I discovered haphazardly. It's uh, how to set yourself free when you are in the monastery section of the game and you are stuck in that monastery and it is a pain in the butt because anything you do could get you kicked out or thrown in solitary confinement and you have to follow this boring routine every single day. Okay, first thing you do is before you ever enter the monastery, you go up here on the scaffolding, you jump down. It helps to bring along some marigold decoction so that uh, if you hurt, damage your feet or something in the jump, that you can heal up. You want to be fully healed when you do the next part. You wait. Might be a good idea to wait till dinner or even evening, but you wait till a time when you're ready. And you jump down into the courtyard, and now comes the cool part. There is a key hidden in the monastery, which if you dig around enough, it's not hard to find. And it's a master key. It opens up all the doors. Once you have it, you have access to go in and out of the monastery anytime you want, whether you're a monk or not a monk. And I'm going to lead you to that spot right now. They may catch you. They may run after you. But as long as you have that key in your pocket, it's a quest item. So they will not take it from you. They could boot you out of the monastery, they could throw you in jail, they could fine you, this or that. Doesn't matter, you've got your key. It's more fun, however, if you can not get seen, not get caught, and run away free and clear, obviously. And that's it for today.